Welcome back. Uh, well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have with us over the phone our dear guest, His Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good evening, Your Excellency. Good evening, how are you? Well, uh, Your Excellency, the uh, situation is de deteriorating day by day. Whether uh, the crimes that are continuing in Gaza Strip or uh, the uh, strikes uh, in uh, we, a few hours ago, Israel have uh, made uh, some uh, air strikes on uh, South Beirut, not South, uh, uh, only South Lebanon, South Beirut, uh, trying to target a uh, famous uh, uh, leader in Hezbollah uh, group. Also, uh, the uh, deterioration, uh, deteriorating situation in uh, Golan Heights uh, with Israel and Syria. So, give us an idea um, about uh, the picture that you uh, are seeing now. I see a very complicated situation, mm -hmm. and I don't know how the Israelis' leadership is managing all these problems. Yes. Israel, after all, is a very small country. They cannot tolerate a uh, long time of, of a war. They cannot tolerate several uh, fronts with enemies and wars. But they are continuing doing this with the help of the American military, with the help of the American financial. Mm. But uh, unfortunately, we have to face this. And I, I, I am quite sure that if we can resist for a long time, then Israel will, will, will never win this battle at all. Yes. Israel is, after all, a minority in its region. Even if it's a minority in the Palestinian territory, Palestinians will exceed one day the number of the, the, the Israelis. And then what, what a future for a country which is making half of its citizens enemies and uh, all the fronts of its border. Uh, uh, they may, may yes. make enemy with Syria, with Lebanon, with uh, the Palestinians, not very friendly with the Jordanian or the Egyptian. Yes, sir. Uh, what the future yes. they are waiting for? Your Excellency, uh, Ambassador uh, Bayoumi, uh, for its part, Egypt is, uh, um, uh, as uh, Foreign Minister uh, uh, and Migration Minister um, uh, Badr Abdel Ati have uh, said uh, today that Egypt is uh, making all its efforts and exerting all efforts, uh, making its contacts uh, with, with, uh, uh, in order to, uh, and conducting contacts uh, in order, uh, uh, with the different parties in order to contain the situation that is, uh, uh, or um, to avoid avoid rising the tension in the region and avoid sliding into a wider regional uh, war. What this is comment? true because Egypt is trying all, always to be a, a, a sort of uh, a, a power of stability. We are uh, making all our efforts in order to make our area much more peaceful. And we, we gain from this because our economy depends on tourism on Swiss Canal uh, transport, many things. War is against it, of course. Mm -hmm. So I am sure that everybody in the whole world knows that Egypt is doing its best efforts in order to stop this silly war. It is a silly war. It has no future at all if we are looking even uh, from the point of view of the uh, Israeli extremists. So, of course, Ben Abdel Ati was right that Egypt did and will do whatever it takes to stop this war around us. Yes, yes. So um, what can we expect now? Um, uh, the, uh, do you see that uh, the situation is still under uh, control of what um, every day in uh, Gaza and today uh, actually um, 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 we, we, we uh, hear uh, numbers of um, uh, people killed in, uh, in uh, Gaza uh, Strip, uh, 90 people killed, 24 people killed, 50 people are killed. And uh, whenever uh, the um, uh, Israeli uh, forces uh, tells the uh, civilians uh, to go to a place which is supposed to be safe, and uh, after this, it hits this uh, uh, area. It is a continuous crime against civilians. Mm -hmm. And 70% of the victims are children and women and people who do not carry any weapon. And the whole world know, know about it. Uh, the, our only solution, our only arm, is to continue resisting 
and with our resistance, Israel will never gain this war at all. And uh, I, 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 I am pitting 40,000 victims on the Palestinian side. Yes. But uh, as uh, our president rightly said, that there isn't any family in Egypt without victims for the case of Palestine. Yes. So whatever it takes, we shall do it. Whatever it takes, we shall pay for it. Whatever it takes, we shall do all what it needs in order to get an end to this city war. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable thank information. You. Your Excellency, Ambassador Gamal Labayumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, I really had the pleasure to have this phone with you. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you.